Yeah, Bozzy too. How's it going, everybody? So, um, if you guys can't tell by my voice, I am still sick at the time of me recording this. So, yeah, if I sound different, that's why. But for today, I have a uh, another very fast-paced, straightforward match. Because recently, I've been doing a lot of um, hyper-offensively based teams or more offensively based teams. But going into this match, uh, the biggest threat I saw on my opponent's team was going to be that... Keldeo most likely just because if I lose my Slowbro it could possibly destroy my team if it's specced. Also not to mention they had a Smeargle which means he most likely is going to lead off with that so predicting that I lead off with my Landers and I'm pretty positive that he's going to go for the Spore or Dark Void if he does carry that so I'm going to go straight for the U-turn and because this is a Mega Crowbro I can take the sleep and hopefully sleep talk a Scald to prevent this Smeargle from getting up too many hazards, but I actually get really lucky and he misses the Dark Void and then he goes straight for the Sticky Web. I was actually very, very close to clicking Sleep Talk, predicting him to go for the Dark Void again, and this is good for me because now he doesn't get up as many hazards as he could, but he does now get a free switch into Greninja, which is also another giant threat, but I thought that I had a pretty decent counter in my Conk Elder. Unfortunately, as you're about to find out, he actually ends up having the extra sensory and he predicts as my conk elder switch in very nicely, knowing that I wouldn't want to stay in and take a dark pulse as he gets off about 90-95% amount of damage and my conk elder is basically forced to stay in because I really have no use for it at this point. And I'm just going to try to get off as much damage as I can as I get off a decent chunk on the Greninja. And now ensures that my Earthquake from Landers will be able to knock it out, which is really good for me. Because if you saw a team preview, he has no flying or levitating, or levitating type Pokemon. Sorry. As I can bring in my Landers, I am indeed faster than this Greninja. And I can honestly just go for Earthquake. I literally have no reason to not Earthquake. Anything that he switches in will be outsped most likely or uh, 2 a KO'd or 1 hit KO'd as I'm able to easily knock out the Victini which honestly Victini wouldn't have done anything in this battle so long as I had Landers and Latios. So he brings in the Klefki and I found it a little bit odd that he brought in Klefki but you're going to see that this thing is actually really damn annoying because it turns out that he is a dual screen variant of Klefki which was actually kind of terrifying just because this could possibly allow his Gallade to set up Swords Dances all over my team and if that did happen I could easily get swept by that Gallade if I got up to plus six so I was actually kind of scared when I saw him going for uh, the screens as he also got up the light screen I'm gonna be able to uh, knock him out with a final earthquake as he brings in the Keldeo at the amount of HP Keldeo is at I'm not positive that an earthquake will be able to finish him off especially because he does have the reflect up so I'm gonna be forced to switch out as he makes a nice play predicts that and he goes for the hidden power although there's a chance this could have been hidden power ice if it's either ice or ghost or dark Judging for how much damage that did to my Latios, that is definitely a choice Bex Keldeo. And because he does have dual screens up, he is not fearing the side shock as he's going to be able to easily 2 KO me with the hidden power super effective as I do lose my Latios, which was my healing wish Pokemon, which might have come in handy later in this battle. Although, seeing that he is most likely locked into hidden power, uh, ice, dark, or ghost, all three which my own Keldeo can take, I should be able to just safely go for the Secret Sword or I could even go for the Hydra Pump and ultimately I decided to go for the Secret Sword thinking that he may want to bring in his Greninja but he actually makes a nice play and brings in the Gallade predicting me to not Hydra Pump or Scald as I'm just going to leave in my Keldeo basically to prevent this thing from wanting to set up freely which as you're about to see he does actually turn out to be a sword Dance fan of Mega Gallade and this is what I was fearing so I'm hoping that if this Hydro Pump does hit I can get off enough damage to where my Landers will be able to knock it out with an Earthquake unfortunately for me he does end up skillfully dodging my Hydro Pump and just utterly destroying me with a Psycho Cut as the Reflect goes down but because I didn't hit the Hydro Pump, again, I, I'm not positive that an Earthquake will be strong enough to finish off Gallade, but what I am going to do is actually go for the U-Turn, and then this way I can bring in my Slowbro, which should be able to live any one hit that this Mega Gallade wants to go for, just because I am max defense, max HP, and once I Mega Evolve, my defense will go through the roof. 
So because he's not at plus four or plus six, I'm literally not worried if he does want to go for a knockoff or a night slash or something along those lines. And I'm just going to go ahead and mega evolve and just go straight for the scald. Just wanting to get off damage on whatever he decides to bring in or if he does want to leave in the Gallade, I could possibly burn that and maybe uh, finish it off the following turn with my Slowbro or just bring in Landorus to outspeed it and knock it out. As he brings in Keldeo, I want to save my Slowbro. On the off chance that for some reason I lose my my landers and I can take one hit from the Gallade and then finish it off with a Scald. So I decided to fodder off Heatran as I just get utterly destroyed by a more than likely Specs Hydro Pump. But this does now allow me to get a free switch back into my landers and thankfully this does not turn out to be randomly Scarfed because if he was Scarfed then I would have lost right here most likely. But as I said, I was pretty positive that he was Specs, just from how much damage he did to my Latios earlier in the match. As he brings in the Greninja, after the Mach Punch damage and some Life Orb Recoil, I know that an Earthquake will be enough to finish off Greninja. And at this point, his last Pokemon being the Gallade, at the amount of HP that it is at, I will be able to finish it off with an Earthquake. So yeah, Landorus coming through and proving why you should always have a Levitating or Flying type Pokemon on your team, and also proving why Scarf Land is just such an amazing Pokemon right now in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So hopefully you guys did enjoy and if you did then make sure to hit the like button. Hopefully my voice and the narration wasn't too off and you guys did still enjoy. So with that being said I will see you all tomorrow hopefully but just on the off chance that I don't it's just because I'm too sick and don't feel like uh, recording which I'm sure you guys understand. So yeah uh, let everybody thank you for watching.